In this show, we're going to go ahead and polish and grind our concrete countertops. We're going to take it from this uh, ugly, dull uh, concrete to make it something really smooth and beautiful. We're going to do that with something called a wet polisher. This is basically a grinder with a special water attachment that's going to shoot water out onto the countertop and it has a special Velcro pad. You're going to need special um, polishing uh, items here, starting with number 50, which is the strongest, and working your way up to uh, 3,000. These easily attach with the Velcro onto the polisher here. You want to make sure that the hole is centered here so the water can shoot out. We'll start with the 50, grind, grind and polish. Then we'll work our way up to 100. Then we'll switch to the 200. We'll go to the 400, 800, 1500, and 3000 to make it really shiny and smooth. It takes about an hour to do this, and um, it really makes a beautiful, nice, smooth uh, countertop. And the more you grind down, starting with the 50, you're going to see those blue uh, marbles coming up and some of the stone aggregate. If you had put glass in the top, you can bring that glass up by doing this. So um, anyone can do this. I'm not a professional concrete countertop person. Um, and for a few hundred dollars, I'm doing this myself. And we'll see what kind of results I get here. We already have a really strong, nice, thick concrete countertop here that we've done ourselves for a couple hundred bucks. So it's really a, a great DIY project for the average homeowner, and you're saving thousands of dollars here on your countertop. Let's get started. Okay, here's a look. We took a quick break here from grinding, and you can see how the aggregate, the stone, is starting to come out of the concrete here. Those little colorful stones, it's really pretty, and it's becoming more smooth here with the number 50. And we also did the front a little bit on the um, front edge here. You can also take the grinder and kind of round off the corners if you want with the number 50. It's that strong to round off the corners. You could probably even round off this edge if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it at a 90, a sharp 90 degree. And you also have to get in here and grind a little bit so these cutouts so it won't interfere with you putting in your ice chest and your sink. Um, so that's another thing to get in there a little bit. But use extreme safety and hold this thing very uh, strong so it doesn't get away from you. And read the uh, instructions. You can see how messy concrete countertops are here. That's why we didn't install the cement board on the front um, so that we didn't wreck our cement board. And on the back, uh, we're not going to finish that off so because it's up against the wall. So you can see how messy it gets back here, but that's okay. No one will ever see that. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do a little bit more with the 50 to bring out more of this stone aggregate and um, shave off more of the top here. And then we'll work our way up on the other um, the other higher numbers, 100, 200, 400. Here's a look at our uh, progress. We've stopped uh, with the number 50 here. And you can see all of the aggregate coming out here. Some of those uh, blue marbles are starting to show up here. And it's getting really nice and uh, smooth and looks much nicer now already. Now we'll go ahead and switch to the number 100 and make a pass over. Okay, so far we've done the 50, the 100, the 200, and the 400. Let's go ahead and check our progress. You can see that it's really starting to smooth out and become somewhat shiny here. It's starting to really uh, take shape here and look very nice um, after we just did the 400. 
and we came along the front and did a little bit on the front as well so that's looking a little bit better as well so now we'll go ahead and move up to the 800 okay we're all finished polishing our concrete countertop and look at the amazing results we got this is so smooth like a granite countertop it's just beautiful and the stones came out and those blue pebbles came out here you can see we could have put any type of glass or things in the countertop here and smoothed them out um, to make our design so this is just so nice and smooth and this is going to dry out and look really nice uh, gray color and um, it's something that's going to last a lifetime now once it's dry we'll come back tomorrow and we're going to seal the uh, concrete with a sealer so nothing's going to stain it so we'll have to do that and maintain our concrete countertop we can see that the barbecue coach 18 gauge structural steel is very well supporting the concrete countertop so we're very happy with these results for only a few hundred dollars we have a nice concrete countertop that really fits the outdoors uh, more and more people are using concrete countertops for their outdoor kitchens it just blends in really well um, for a nice outdoor look okay these concrete countertops on top of the barbecue coach steel are super strong and not only does it support uh, over 1500 pounds of concrete countertops but also my 200 pound weight I can walk across on the countertop here because barbecue coach kits use 18 gauge structural steel you wouldn't want to do this with 25 gauge steel the, the studs would just bend and you'd uh, be in big trouble so the 18 gauge steel was really worth the extra money and the barbecue coach system that teaches the right way to frame this properly uh, is very very crucial to the success of supporting something heavy like this now tune in next week and we're going to finish the cement board and cover it with the barbecue coach stucco and finish this off see you next week